This show features adults using adult language and discussing mature topics. You have been warned. Michael. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> hey. Oh, I need dice, don't I? Hey, everybody. Oh, hi. hi. I need dice. Nah, it's fine. You don't need Dice would help. Dice always help. Who needs dice? Am I right, ladies? Hmm. Where did my d4 go? Hey, everybody, can you tell I switched when they weren't prepared? Oh, did we? Oh, okay. No. <laughs> no, oh, no, like, no, I was like, like where are we going? Or I, I got like, that, yeah. Or... Hi. Okay, hi, hi. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the chaos crew, I guess. Um, <laughs> Every time. Oh, gosh, yeah, I'm not prepared at all. <laughs> Hello. That was rude, Scotty. Okay, I'm sorry. A little bit. We'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back, no. <laughs> no, seriously, we'll, we'll, we'll be back. Um... And I mean, I just, you know, I just had this horrible rash and just would yeah, not I stop itching. Yeah. Oh, happens. hey. Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. I didn't see you there. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to another exciting adventure of the Chaos Crew. Um, so, uh, kind of going to do something a little bit, a little bit different here. Uh, previously on, but not last time, the party was, uh, ended up on the bad side of uh, the Butterfly Witch. One of Halister's apprentices, Arcturia, after they uh, killed a meat puppet of Halister that was being pulled by the knot in the weave that is down in Undermountain. Um, it was a so wild bachelor of priority. I'll tell you yeah, that. You, yeah, yeah. Uh, so they pissed Arcturia off. So Arcturia has tried to kill them several times. Um, they ran into someone down in Skullport who told them that Arcturia has an individual who she is using as a ritual blood bag, essentially, using their blood to conduct transmutation rituals. Uh, she also evidently has captured Solaris's brother, Brighton Raylan. Please don't uh, let him be the blood bag. That's all I have to say, universe. Maybe. We'll find know. out. I don't know. Um, you were also betrayed by Spite Harrowdale, the little little child in Dwemer Corps, um, and Kumar's on again, off again, master, friend, compatriot, whatever you want to call him. Uh, Spite betrayed you and left you to die in, in Mural's Gauntlet uh, at the behest of Arcturia. So, you know, there's a few little, we should probably deal with this bitch. Uh, so, we're going to try and deal with her. Um, so Solaris, first off, uh, you were were slept over the night with Sunspot at his new property, which was very haunted. Yeah, you know, I mean, Sunspot's my bestie and all that when it comes to stuff, but I, I, I don't know about this haunted house. Just don't it's, know. A little, it's a little, yeah. Um, but Sunspot decided to to leave for the time being with the mud parrot. Mar-a-Lago, who's been reborn, and he probably didn't leave with Mar-a-Lago, but Mar-a-Lago was probably following him. Um, and he was going to try and figure out what to do with all that. Uh, so you returned to Noodle Troll, where Patience, Airely, and Lilia, you know, are all at. Uh, Lilia, you had just um, satisfied your your ice devil patron with some ice cream, mm -hmm. as well as gotten the treasure back that was stolen in the basement. Uh, Airily, you had gone up to uh, the Chaos Cruiser spell jammer that you guys have and reminisced about childhood and stuff like that, uh, as well as helped make a noodle bowl for a dragon, as you do. The dragon um, bowl. A dragon bowl, even. Uh, and yeah, Patience, you just wanted to try and get some fucking rest, but everybody wanted <laughs> your attention instead. Um, so I think that's where, where everybody's at. And... Uh, I don't know, after a little little discussion, you guys are like, hmm, yeah, this Arcturia thing is a real problem. Hmm. But the question is, how to find her? Hmm. That is a good question. Get a long rest, Dylan. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've 100% okay. had time to, to rest up, all that. Um... Fully restored. 
I don't believe anyone had any curses or diseases that might uh, <laughs> otherwise get in the way of that. Gosh, I hope not. Yeah, I hope not too. I was out of land hands, so I couldn't help with that. Right, oh boy. Uh... I think I, I go to sleep and I try to take off my armor and then I realize I can't take off my armor and I'm just like, this is my life now. And I go oh, the, yeah, the demon armor. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I that's true. about that. That's true, what yeah. Is, what does it look off. like again? It looks like uh, like leaves, right? It looks like elven yeah. sort of armor. Worst, with like... worst chastity belt ever. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry, I wasn't here for this part, but did we get our shit back? Yes, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, we found it in a demon hole. Armor. No. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, demon armor. It gives you you know some special properties and stuff. D eight D eight claws for an attack. That's claws. pretty awesome. Plus one to attack and damage. Yeah. yeah. Can't just plus can't, one to AC. Just can't take it off. Can't take it off. <laughs> yeah, you know it'll be fine. What? You're super armored now. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Next morning. Because you couldn't take it off. You're probably audibly complaining about it, right? Uh, you know, just... this is canonically, you guys share a bed, so... Well, she was sleeping in the Chaos Cruiser, right? Uh, no, I, there, I, anyway. I, I, no? I okay. went up there, but I think I'll come down and then... Okay. I, I think, uh, uh, um, what's her name? <laughs> I already forgot Vex's character's name. Oh, Kumar. Kumar. Kumar, yeah. Kumar left uh, the uh, the the trap for patients, so I think he's probably I I should deal with help deal with that. That's right. That's <laughs> right. We ended the session with patients walking back in the room, and we had like him go ah! as the trap <laughs> went off. That's right. Wait, what? Excellent. Oh my god. Kumar a left a trap in your trapped. bed. Yeah. Like a bear trap? Bear trap, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, no, that's oh, not the window, and we got a broken window. That's right, you have a broken window still. No one's fixed it. <laughs> Do you guys that want was, me to fix it for you? That was broken all winter. That, the real draft. Oy. Nobody oh. fixed that fucking window! <laughs> No, what, well, we, I mean, what can we do? I <laughs> no, no, It yeah, has yeah. mending on it! <laughs> I didn't even know it was broken. I've no, I don't go in Patience's room. Oh, Early was just like whatever. <laughs> I cast mending and boop did it boop do boop five minutes later. Do you have fine. every single shard? I of know. The do you window? have every shard of this window that was broken like six months ago? You can also order a new glass. Like we have a glass. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> I would say that, I, sure. I put in the request for it, but I... Mm. I uh, Let's get a, like, a cool stained glass window with a dragon on it, just for fun. I, I forget the specific guild, but there there's a specific guild for windows. Yes. Yes, the Guild of Glass Blowers or something like yeah. that. They aren't as cool as the Candle Makers Guild, but, you know, we can't all be. <laughs> or the Dung Sweepers. Cool. Yeah, the Dung Nobody Sweepers are the best. Nobody is as cool as the Dung Sweepers. <laughs> it's true. Uh... Noble, yeah, Noble party. Water Havens, get the fuck out. We got the dung sweepers over here. You know, it's... I, I, this is completely unrelated, but also not really. I actually learned that there's, like, before the invention of cars, there was actually, like, a, a hard limit on how big a city could get because of the amount of horse poop that was created by carriages and stuff. So dung sweepers actually had a lot of, like, political power because of that, you know, because you had to move all of the horse poop out. <laughs> Well, look at uh, Baldur's Gate. So they had... you have to sell your horses at either gate and That's make your That's true. You can't even go in. Horses. No, so no horses in the city. Nothing larger than a peacock. So they had to deal with a lot of shit then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that came you know? up so many times because I loved it so much in our candle game. game. It's an interesting. It, it it's it's, so it's a very like real. Nobody wall. else cared for yeah. that. A tidbit, but I just thought it was fucking hilarious. No, I think it's hilarious too. But um, yeah. So, how much would a, a single new window be? Twenty gold. Yeah, I think that's reasonable, especially that, that inclu that's that including the services. That's including the services. That sounds expensive. You remember how big nice that window, window was? But it's big a stained too. glass window. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's reasonable. It's good. Okay, but it has to have like patience and Arlie doing like some cool shit on it. Nope. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Hey. Uh, okay. Well, 
Eventually, I will draw up some plans. It's fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, you guys have decided to try and hunt down Arcturia and uh, Solaris's missing brother. Well, captured brother. Not really missing. Oh, right. Um, Sorry, we got we got a like bit of a side tangent. No, yeah, early, it's fine. early is clearly like, uh, and patience oh, yes, is the like, armor. and patience is like, is that armor not comfortable or something? Just can't take it off. Oh, it's a tight fit. Mm. Oh, that Did was that was from the me? pit. No. That was from the pit. Okay, <laughs> I'll help you. <laughs> Remove curse. Uh, can you take it off? It. Can you take it off now? I cast remove curse on it. Yeah, I, I'll take it off. Uh, can I take it off uh, all the time now, or just when somebody says remove curse? Um, is it like I don't know. The zipper on the back of a dress. You have to have well, somebody. So I think, zip you but up. now I know I that think, that is cursed armor. So you, I think maybe, you can you, take it hmm. off now. But I think if you put it back on or anything, it'll. Uh... It'll get stuck again. Okay. So. Let, okay. Fine. I'll look it up. Yes, you can't. Once you don this curse armor, you can't doff it unless you're targeted by yada yada. Uh, and yeah, that's that'd be how it is. So if you put it on, it'll be stuck again until remove curse. In which case, you can take it off. You know. Yeah, but when you put it back on, your it refreshes. Yep. A little refreshing curse for you. If I don't attune to it, will it does the curse still take effect? Uh, yes, because you put it on. Okay. Yeah. I don't believe you have to attune to it. Also, this is a warlock spell slot. Yeah. I just do that and take a short rest right afterwards. We're fine. Okay. No, yeah, I'm you have enough time for that. <laughs> hmm. Hell, actually, I would probably... How about this? I save at least one I spell have... slot every night. And I cast Remove Curse before you go to bed. Done. Do that. That's fine. Uh, what could possibly go <laughs> Hot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey baby, I'll take off your demon armor. Oh my god, <laughs> Thank you, Dylan. <laughs> oh my gosh. Remind me to tell you about our session last night. Because... Wait, I'm not going to talk about that right now. Anyway, no. so, yeah, we're going after this dude. Yeah, Arturia, the butterfly witch. So, um, like I said, you guys aren't entirely sure where she's at. Um, you did meet um, Prita Kipa, one of her former apprentices down in Undermountain uh, in Skullport, who has now become an independent monster maker. And she was the one who told you about the blood bag and stuff. Um, that could help. It's possible that you could somehow try and track down Spite, who has evidently, you know, gone down there. So scrying or something might be able to work for that. Um, besides if we that, get if we get a little closer, mm -hmm. um, you could try and locate with a spell. I have locate object. Mm. So I don't think that works in Undermountain as well as you think it does. I mean, if it's around the same level, I feel like it, we could probably find them. It's mm -hmm. a thousand rounds all around. That's true. Actually, on our way down, mm -hmm. there's that door we couldn't open, right? Yeah. Um, oh, yes. We, we need to talk to Weeb Waifu about that one. Yeah, yeah maybe we can try to get that situated. And while we do that, we you locate object on huh? Possible. Right, but like... I don't know if it, 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 how well it would work because we don't know. Like, Under Mountain is like, what, a billion levels deep? Yeah, but. Well, no, it's actually only nine levels deep, but there are sub levels that are broken off from. Yeah, it's a lot. Completely and like, separated okay, except know, via portals. It, my, my spell only works a thousand feet around. To be fair, uh, uh, you do have a, a beholder, a mechanized beholder that can shoot lasers and dig through the earth, so. Mm. Does that <laughs> does that work in Underground? Yeah. Can the, oh, wall, yeah. Can the walls actually be disintegrated? Mm -hmm. That's how the the Crish Crash Memorial Undermountain Tunnel was made. Oh yeah. <laughs> did we ever get that treasure back? You did. Yes, yeah. Lilia and Yami were able to get it back. Um, uh, it wasn't mine, so I, little, I wasn't little, sure. Little, don't tell, don't tell the dragon, but um, there's Sasha, but um. 
it's a little bit less because I gave them money to. Uh, I, I I started. Uh, I I I put them on the business, and now they're gonna start a nail salon. It's gonna be great. As you do. Mm -hmm. I think I know who their first client should be. Why cut pants. Is it that everybody cut pants to going us. there, and we got like a dragon wormling there, and she's just got her little yeah. talons, pink. That she gets adorable. She gets comped though because they did take her treasure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She she has a picture on the wall like they do in movies where they'll just put like the picture of the president on the wall for, <laughs> so mm. you know that you're in America. <laughs> and and brass dragons like conversation, so I'm sure she's just gonna like sit there as they're working on her nails. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will not you believe what I heard about Castle Ward the other day. Ooh. You're not going to believe that. I heard there's Their an mascot. elven warrior lady that has armor she can't take off unless she's with her lover. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is that canon? <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, totally. Well, I, it's, it's rumors, so. <laughs> it's rumors, yeah. yeah. Probably not. Probably is, probably not. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I can't say. Maybe, maybe You'll it's half know. truth. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, you guys could go check out the door to the heart of the mountain. Or you could see about uh, this locate object idea to try and track down Arcturia. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Which path will they take? I think we agreed. Which on chaos the, will you choose? I think we agreed on the ladder, so we'll do the ladder. I and, yeah, and, and talk to Weeb Waifu later. Okay. Yeah, I feel like Weeb Waifu is a different plot line. We should probably <laughs> <laughs> cuts to Weeb Waifu, do, and he's got like hat, a uh, hot female dwarf miniatures he's making. Mm. He does have a new yeah. girlfriend, Skella. Yeah, they're they're making miniatures together. It's very cute. Oh, it's yeah. true. He has his his um. Sorority of Warfare miniature. <laughs> Sorority of Warfare. I kind of want to see that. <laughs> Their um, ultimate weapon, wet right, t-shirt right. contests. Are they all like anime girl titty like situations? It's weep waifu. Yeah. I mean, so of course. It's hey, gotta be. You know? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like, like each so, one's a separate guys... piece you have to put on, you know? <laughs> you have to put super glue on the back. Um, let me see. Okay, so when you cast Locate Object, <laughs> uh, you have to describe or name an object that is familiar to you. Mm -hmm. And then you'll sense the location, you know, as long as it's within 1,000 feet. Um, it, what would object? it work if, like, Solaris, like, describe something to me like if she knows something that her brother has. yeah i would say that counts as being familiar with it yeah it's like she could draw she also she she has you guys found um in valdemar the green dragon who used to have tear stuffed on his head um you found in his horde there was a shield that oh, had i have that i know yeah a picture of a Lizard folk's head, so it looked like a green scaly thing with a dagger stuck in it, which is the uh, coat of arms of Daggerford, uh, which is where Brighton is from. And it, based on what you heard, that might actually be his. So that might help too. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, because I don't know if he would have anything that I would still know. It's mm. been a long time since Solaris and he have seen each other. It's true. Very to be long fair, time. I've also seen like the the butterfly witch. I don't know if she still has her hat, but like Ooh, I remember the hat. Like I remember it very clearly. Lilia knows hats, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's fair. Sure. So I can try that. You want to try her hat? She's okay, a she's that. a dome concealing expert. Mm. I don't know. I was trying to think of a fancy title. For liking hats. She spends a lot of time in haberdasheries. Yes. Is that the word? I think I got it right. Yes. Sure is. Why are all, like half of my characters like? Because, <laughs> like, because they're you. You're 
you you're a friend brand. of the uh, Devondi family in uh, Zalargo. Yeah. Famous haberdashers. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just okay. wait till you see all the headwear at the wedding. Lily should open up a hat store. A really tall vampire lady buys the, the biggest hat she has. I mean, that's just Yami in disguise. Eh, and that's fair. <laughs> she comes in and she's like, I would like to buy your finest hat, please. Just to patron <laughs> Mm. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna say. Uh, if you try and cast locate object, you yeah. feel the spell going down, but then it hits a wall and it stops, and you would know. So you're saying it hits rock bottom? No, it hits lead bottom. Ooh. A spell can't locate an object if any thickness of lead, even a thin sheet, blocks a direct path between you and the object. Technically, right. lead. No, wait, no, lead isn't rock. Is it a rock? It's a mineral. But... All right. Uh, Where's our geologist? Well, I guess I'm Superman, so we got to get going. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. there's kryptonite in there. You got to be careful. Oh, shit. <laughs> but I'm Arturi no is going to put it around your neck and throw you in a swimming pool. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Only to find out that our mothers have the same name. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the Why did you say that sigh. name? <laughs> That'd be impressive, actually, you know. I don't even remember Lilia's mom. I don't know. If you yeah, both had to, I feel like it would be like, yeah, if, for you, it would be, wait, your mom has the same name as mine? Then I, then I hate you more. Because <laughs> your parents <laughs> suck. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, Lily doesn't hold people against her like that. She's not an idiot. Anyway, let's get going. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, everybody's got everything they need. Did everybody pack snacks? Mm-hmm. Bag or has... the bathroom. I, I didn't pack snacks. Also, I need to go. Patience, go get here. Thagor, Thagor oh, oh, uh, you know, okay. comes waddling over to you, Lily, and says, "I shall accompany you to protect you from this witch." Okay, just be careful. I don't want you to die again. He gives his knee a pat. Because all fluffy. I can reach. It's very fluffy. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. As expected. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so through the the ether, through various uh, talking to people and using the locate object spell to sort of get a direction, you know, this and that. Um, you guys are able to, well, actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna, I wanna go around and I want each of you to tell me one thing you encounter in Undermountain while you're trying to look for Arcturia's lair, basically. Uh, so let's start with Scott, how about you? What is something that you run into as you're exploring Undermountain trying to find Arcturia Do? It doesn't one, have to be anything major. I ask one of the giant flaming skulls in Skullboard. Oh, the flame. Yes. Okay. I was trying to remember like what all's in in Undermountain, because I tried not to spoil yeah. it in my in the book. Mm, so yeah, you guys go down to uh Skullport and the flaming skulls that just sort of drift all around. They're like large uh, size, yeah. aren't they? Maybe. I, it's possible. I just, I just remember they're like um, really big. They're yeah, like, you know, magic. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but yeah, they basically look like it's just bobbing lanterns from far away, but they're just wreathed in these green flames as green they flame. go through the the twisting streets of Undermountain. Um, not Undermountain, it's twisting streets of Skullport. Um, but yeah, you try and get something from this thing, and it is just a a babble of like weird possible like strands of prophetic, who knows what, strings of profanities, weird like you're breaking the law, you know, and uh, various words that are just in uh, the ancient Netherese language. Uh, uh, I think it's called albedo or something like that. Uh, I think that's actually a book. something like that. Uh, but they are just like almost completely unintelligible. Like, oh my god. However, you are able to probably get some little tidbit that is able to lead you closer to your goal from talking to them. 
Um, Aya, what is something else that you run into? Following the directions of the of the locate object spell and a little bit of help from the the skulls of Skullport, we find a um, cavern that is uh, has like a waterfall in it. Okay. Um, that look like the water like shifts in rainbows when That's it falls, funny. and it just kind of like looks like a like a liquid rainbow. Okay. So yeah, you follow the the Sargoth River uh, upstream from Skullport, and eventually find yeah this rainbow waterfall. Um, does it does it like do anything like special, or is it just a, a cool little sight thing? Is there is there anything that lives here? Anything to be found? Yeah, there's a little like rainbow fish but they're actually like huh. rainbow colored so like when they jump like when you jump through the water mm -hmm. they like turn you into like this like rainbow hue and then if you go into like other water like normal water it'll turn you back but okay it's just that, like it's just like the, the the waterfall in particular okay yeah kuriyami will go no thanks i don't want to be turned any more colors <laughs> um <laughs> But uh, yeah, you guys see this. Does anybody want to become rainbow colors as you're passing by? <laughs> I've been through enough changes right now. That's but uh, can I like, mm. can I put the sheet, try to get the shield in without getting myself rainbow colored? Yeah, sure you can. You can like hold it above your head as we're That's going true, yeah. the waterfall. And just... <laughs> yeah, I would want to do that. Hmm. So yeah, when you come out uh, the other side, this shield basically just is like a, a swirling mass of colors. Uh, it almost looks like the, sh the, the shell of a, uh, a flail snail. Where it's, yeah. you know. I'm here for this. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is something else that you run into, uh, Jeanette? Um, gee, aren't there lots of magical wards and things down here? Maybe mm -hmm. maybe we run into something like that. I don't know. I think there was one that turned some of us invisible. As That's long true. as it's not one that goes teleported. I'm fine <laughs> with I'm fine with pretty <laughs> much anything. <laughs> yeah, Flashbacks to the war. Hmm. I think probably. Uh, sorry. I've been spending this whole time trying to find another language. It's Lo Ross. L O R O S. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, that's right. Yes, Loras is the ancient language, and Thoros is common today. That's right. Yes, thank you. That's right. Hmm. Okay. So, hmm. what shall this little ward be? Hmm. On whom? I don't know. What do you? So you guys are passing through Under Mountain, and you come across a magical ward. Actually, you know what? I walk through Let it. Roll me a D100. Let's I walk through it and oh, nothing whoa. happens because I'm wearing that ring. Ooh, the horned ring. That's right. Yeah. 54. Oh, a good point. 54. Let us see. Let us see. Once I can scroll down on this page. <laughs> okay. Uh, 54, 54. We explode. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh no, we do uh, explode. So as you guys pass through this magical field that is here in this this chamber as you're passing through Undermountain, um, simple or martial weapons that pass through this region that are non-magical suddenly begin to crackle with power. And for the next hour, they become magic weapons with a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Cool. So, uh, for some reason, this this corridor or this chamber within Undermountain has this field over it. Uh, you don't know if it was left by Halister or some sort of wild magic from the Spell Plague, or if it was something put there by the dwarves or the drow, but it's here, and when you walk through it, non-magical weapons start to become magic, at least for an hour. Sweet. Holy moly. Um, okay, and then uh, Callie, what is something else? The final thing that you right. encounter before reaching the entrance to Arturia Doom. <laughs> the family of, wait, no, they weren't in Undermountain. I was going to say the family of all those, of the giant snake you killed. 
Oh. Uh, I was gonna say. You're just like revenge. I was, I, I was thinking two things. I was thinking yeah. maybe. Uh, first of all, I was like maybe there's a dude with a duck, but I wouldn't know what to say about that. Uh, <laughs> but now it is it possible. You do know. You do know that Prita Keepa, uh, Arcturia's old apprentice. Uh, last time you saw her, she was making a duck bunny. Which is basically just a duck with like little bunny legs and big bunny ears. Okay. <laughs> you could get that beforehand. Uh, you know, that's that's irrelevant to to uh, you know anything else if you if you want. That actually had stats in second edition. Sure did. Uh, well, I can't really I can't really think of anything else. The only thing I was thinking of is like the we we pass like a food court and they're selling like really crappy noodles or something <laughs> okay yeah so you pass through basically a a big chamber that is like a goblin community down here in undermountain and yeah it, it's just basically a food court with different goblin like families who have set up different little places around this court uh and each of them are basically competing to try and and win out over the others and there's a bunch of tables where like all sorts of weird monsters like gnolls and minotaurs. Is a chili cook-off? Yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. Are they using a Peruvian puff pepper? Oh. Peruvian puff That's pepper. illegal. Oh my god. That is illegal. I use that. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, and I, I think <clears throat> I think as you guys are passing through, since everyone else mm -hmm. is biased, they ask you guys to be the judges for the chili cook-off, is what it is. Uh, okay. All right. I haven't had lunch yet. This is awesome. <laughs> so I want everyone to make me a constitution saving throw, first off. Oh, God. <laughs> I lean over to Yami and say, whichever one wins, we need to invite them to come to the noodle troll. That's a good idea. Uh, before... I got a natural uh, 20. Uh, oh. Well, anyway, regardless, I am going to spend a uh, a fifth level spell slot to bless everybody. Oh, okay. Yeah, go for it. So everybody gets a D4 bonus. Leah, oh. Lilia loves spicy food and gets no toots. <laughs> um, Mike. Contrary to real life, I got a one on the <laughs> dice. And so... <laughs> And so that would be with my plus eight in con, it's a nine, and then on the bless, it's plus three, so that's a 12. Hey! Really is just from, like, the backwater, like, very white community and just hasn't had spicy food in her fucking life. Uh, what'd you get, what'd you get, Lilia? I got a 20. Like, I got a 20. Oh, a nat 20. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I also Hell got yeah! 12. High five! I also got a nat twenty and a four on and a four on my blessed dice, so my total is a twenty six. Oh my! Bring God. on the chili! Okay, oh, yeah, chili, chili, chili! Okay, evidently, they Altogether, picked the I best. Altogether, I also have twenty four. They evidently picked the best possible people for this. Okay, minus two. Mm -hmm. Minus <laughs> patience and early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, patience and early. You you chow down and eventually. This like, is what spice normally like, tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> this I'm is not a, fucking delicious. I just realized. Yes. Solaris Wonderful. is a tiefling now, and I'm not. So that mm -hmm. probably also true. contributes to it. That is true. Good mm -hmm. point. Mm. Can't handle the heat. <laughs> Tiefling, nope. Tieflings canonically really like spicy food and doesn't affect them. This yep. is almost as spicy oh as the Eberron curry. Yeah. This, this is a whole new thing for Solara. Sure. She was like expecting to be like out from tasting after like one or two bites, and she's just like, mm, 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 this is great. This is delicious. <laughs> this is good. It's what everyone this wishes is... they could do at a chili competition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is this what food tastes like? <laughs> <laughs> is that you, I? <laughs> that was perfect. It's a chili competition. Of course, everyone's gonna be gassy. <laughs> I thought, no joke. I thought that was Callie somehow doing a really, really good fake burp. I'm like, holy crap! 
I didn't hear anything, so if nobody would have said anything, I would have. Oh, <laughs> you just got done talking, and your mouth was open, and I just hear... <laughs> cool. I was right. trying to kill a spider, so I didn't notice. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Anyway. So, the chili cook-off is a resounding success, and oh, with God. natural 20s, you guys basically are just, like, the perfect judges for this. Um, so, who is it? who is it that wins? I'm curious. What are our choices? Hmm. I think it's a um I, I bet it's the kids it's who little, think it's a little it's it's a little goblin dad and uh his little goth daughter. Um they've been working on it all day and she's like, eh, it's not that good and it's like just the most amazing thing ever. And we were like, Yeah, mm. this is amazing and She's just like you can see it light up in her face, but like the moment anybody was, uh, like uh, like tells it to her to her face, she's like, whatever. <laughs> hmm. Okay. And luckily, <sighs> the goblins they like you guys so much and are so thankful they point you the rest of the way. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew a chili cook off would be uh, instrumental to finding <laughs> Terry's lair. <laughs> uh, all right, so you guys pass down a large staircase. Uh, down, down, down uh, to a double door that stands before you. I think Early and I need a short rest. And it has a butterfly. <laughs> you all right, patience? You look a little. That's the stump. That was the stomach noises. Did, it was did you turn? Did you turn green in the waterfall, and I didn't notice? I think he did. No, that's yeah. it. No, that was apparently Yami. Are you turning back into a goblin? Oh, no. I better not be. <laughs> the goblins put something in the chili, didn't they? Am I turning green? <laughs> no, you're fine. No. Okay. You could still be technically okay. tiefling. <laughs> I'm not turning green sure. either. That's good. I don't want to do that again. No, I like your colors. They're nice and... Cuts nice to like... Color. World War II flashbacks, but instead of black and white, it's like one color green. Uh, and and the song starts playing. Which one? It's green. that easy being green. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> you didn't hear that. That's fun. <laughs> he sings the song! What are you talking about? Gosh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Callie! All right, so, we're, so do we do we short? Do you are you guys fine with taking an hour? Is there a rest? lock or something? A what? On the door. I think a we lock? have to wait no. to open it. I think Patience and Early need to sit down for a minute. They look a little bit not well. I'm yeah. fine. <laughs> I I'm awesome. And then there's her face. Is She's like, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I can't believe I rolled a one. <laughs> I'm right. so bad. Uh, Listen, God. you were just not prepared for the goblin spice. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, I gotta be wow. honest. I just want my spell slots back. Mm -hmm. No, we can do it. No. Spell slots on. Uh, yeah, we just put spell slots on. Remove curse Question. at the beginning of the day. Oh, and, blast. and then I use bless. Well, you uh, got remove curse yeah, back because you, you said you short rested yeah, before you... we left. Did I? You said yeah. that. Oh. I'll, I'll, this is true. I'll make it through. <laughs> listen, we can, listen, we can take a short rest. No, 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 no. no, no opening no, the door. Go. Opening the door. There's a butterfly door. <laughs> the door opens. You know, oh, I'm yeah. supposed and to I check those lost. for... Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, yeah, so I mean, there... this is how you turn green. Well, mm -hmm. no, I actually just walked down a hallway. Uh, but uh, That's what happens. Jell you know. Be... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I had such a visceral reaction. We were watching, um, what was it, Samurai Jack the mm. other day, and uh, oh. the, the, the there was a guy the with the wrestler board. voice, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I, I don't want to be here, <laughs> I don't want to watch this. <laughs> you okay. think so, you can mess uh, with me, Jack? Exactly, I remember, yeah. I remember him. Oh anyway. my gosh, yeah. So, um, beyond the double doors, there is a cavern that looks like it is a 
fungal wonderland covered in little mushrooms and lichen and moss hanging down and all sorts of toadstools. It's a wonderland of fungus. A and they're glowing. A snurf nibblin's paradise. I, exactly. If uh, Gus, the little Smurf Nebulon druid, was here, he'd have a fucking ball. I, I always wanted to play one, and it would be a spore druid for sure. Mm-hmm. Mushrooms every... Anyway, uh, Patience just walks through. He doesn't care. <laughs> okay. So Patience enters. Everybody else, do you follow? I'm going to watch what happens to Patience. Nothing. He walks in. Um... It doesn't hmm. affect anyone that has an intelligence of three or lower. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just can't have an intelligence of three. I am going to... Uh, uh, I'm going to wrap, like, material around my mouth and nose. That's fair. Just because okay, there's, you know, fungus and I'm concerned. Precautions. Oh, yeah, I should probably check. Uh, then I'm, I'm gonna follow. I'm, I'm immune to diseases, so I'm fine. Oh, good, yeah. good, good. Not to poison, though. Not... not to poison. Okay. So, they, if it's like okay. death lotus poison, yeah, too bad for me. Cl mm. cl like clearly, because you got affected very strongly by that chill. <laughs> very true. Very true. true. Okay, so uh, Solaris put some stuff over her her nose and mouth. Uh, patients, you're immune to disease. Okay. Lilia and Aerily, do you guys follow beyond the butterfly door? Into the fungal garden? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. I, I, I'll i use, like, since it's a Jason or Thaumaturgy to just, just, like, make some, like, bubble of air. <laughs> you know? Okay. Just a I'll little. Take a, take a before you go in. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Or Gus Barrier, that would probably also work. Gus Barrier would work, yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, you want to cast that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all, then... all of the spores blow on everyone else except for <laughs> <laughs> Aaliyah. Are there any convenient <laughs> skeletons <laughs> just in here? Uh, there, are probably, there are probably a few skeletons, like, under with, like, mushrooms coming out of their, their eye sockets and their mouths and stuff, you know, between their ribs. Oh. Man, that looks cool, <laughs> if, mm -hmm. if not a little morbid. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, so reminds, what is everybody's... Reminds me of uh, back home. <laughs> what is everybody's passive perception? <laughs> That's fine. That's what I thought. 14. Yeah. What is it? 14. 14? 14. 14? One, four. Mine's 14. 15. Mine's 9, yeah. if you need it written That's down. That's what I thought. Uh, mine's mine's like twenty something. Let me see. I I yeah. thought so. Twenty seven, <laughs> maybe. I'm trying to find it on here. Something Affiliate. ridiculous. We need to Affiliate. get. We need to enchant your sword with um. What is it? the alertness? Plate of alertness or whatever. Mm. Right. Because I think that also adds another plus five to it. <laughs> oh lord, on, that's that... all we need. I would never be able to sleep because it would be. Oh yeah, my passive perception is a twenty seven. And okay. So, in that case, you guys are going through this fungal garden. Um, everybody, I think, is protected except from, except really for Airily, but like, it doesn't seem to be doing anything to you, like, immediately, you know, spore wise. Um, I'm fine. You see that there are uh, these, as you're continuing along, there are these big balls that are just sort of like floating through the air, like, Letting out a little spore as cloud that just seemed to push a them along. Book will be fine. Yeah, it's not a book. So that's good. <laughs> um, but no, no these uh, look like pretty fun guys. <laughs> Solaris. Oh no, she took her headphones off. <laughs> I hear my name. I hear my name. Solaris, uh, you are the only one who notices okay. something. Um, only if I have my headphones on, though. Twelve beholders. However, before that happens, there is a voice. Uh, and the voice says, Ah, I knew you'd come. Good, good. Welcome to my tea party. <laughs> oh, boy. oh, boy. Do we know this voice? I love tea parties! Oh, oh I think you'll love this one. Uh, I 
can't wait to destroy you. I have cookies wait, what? and tea. Hmm? Nope, nope, nope. And... They, they, they just announced that they're not friends. Oh, delightful. delightful. Yeah, well, you don't have to destroy us. We can just be friends. Oh, no, no, no. I won't be friends with you. Why? That's definitely not happening. Sounds because like... you embarrassed me. It sounds like they have a hat on oh, too sorry, tight. Sorry, that listen, I I didn't mean to embarrass anybody. You know, it, it it sometimes it just happens. Oh, it just happens. Yes, I understand entirely. But I'm afraid that now I get to get rid of you after long last. You know. Yeah. Well, see, I don't. I don't so, think you should. I really don't think you should do that. And because... suddenly, the the door that was behind you it seals into a wall and the stairs that were beyond it you see them turn into a slide <sighs> that's no not stairs. good and uh she says i hope you like this this is my little gift to you Beep, boop, 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 boop. uh and suddenly you hear a voice that says t minus 10 minutes until weapon of mass disintegration is activated what I just Insert. Pick- uh, and it basically tells you uh, all creatures. Uh, well, please evacuate all areas of Arcturia Doom or insert mithril keys to deactivate. The, the, the stairs just turn into a slope, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, and the door seals into a wall. A solid wall. And, uh, yeah, and then up in the corner of the screen, we see a little 10-minute countdown down timer start to... Like 24? Down. The saw? <laughs> um, Don, why do you keep trying like to put us in. into these situations? It's just how it is. Stop uh, it! And Jeanette, as Solaris sees, is the only one who sees, amid all of this chaos, suddenly a, a lump on the floor it like an arm reaches up and a giant form with like one big head with like an another head emerging from its neck and then another head like just out of its uh, chest and like three arms uh, oh, pulls itself no. up from the fungus. Uh, I, I know what this Chimney is. witch, I'd rather deal with a chimney witch. <laughs> so uh, let's roll initiative, why don't we? Let's do it. Oh god, it's the beginning of Final Fantasy VII. How long does Bliss last? Are we out no, of No, no, we're definitely out. That lasted a minute. Uh, that was for the Uh-oh. chili Enough. competition. That was more than it. Oh, I rolled another natural 20. I got a 24 on my initiative. Wow. Okay. Yay. Oh yeah, Bless would have helped oh, with initiative. Bye. Okay. Uh, patience. Wait, Uh-oh. Did we lose somebody? We lost uh, Aya. Aya. Little Aya. She uh, was frozen, intently staring as she yelled at you, Dylan, which was pretty impressive. Okay. Yeah. I'll fix the windows, but she'll probably be back. Sorry, folks. I, th- I think I think Lilia like got so mad that she just. <laughs> she'll be back. <laughs> uh, ten, for patience. A ten. Okay. And Airly, how about you? Nine. Not okay. Yeah, okay, so this fits. All right, so uh, Solaris, you were the only one who noticed. So you get to go f- first before this baby. Do I have any idea what this thing might be that's emerging? I'm probably not really uh, well informed. No. Can I roll not. anything to know what the hell that is? Oh, yeah, totally. Uh, you could roll me a nature check. Oh god, do I even have that skill? Let's okay, find Arcana out. Arcana might help as well. Maybe I don't know what this is. I, I do have... I have a plus 10 in Arcana. Surprisingly, Solaris Damn. has learned some things about magic over the course of this adventure. Lily, she doesn't like magic, but she's learned a lot. Yeah. Lily has probably taught learn... you a bit, because she's really good with Arcana. Yeah, sure. I think too, like, Solaris has learned a lot, because it's like, you know, she keeps doing stupid stuff with magic. And, and you tend to learn things when you make mistakes. All right, so oh, that's a sixteen. Sixteen. Wait, wait. Oh, I'm a rogue. That's a. Oh, that's right. That's a that's a twenty because I okay. get to take ten because I'm actually proficient in Arcana now. 
Okay, in that case, I would say with a 20, uh, you recognize, you know, under the crust of like fungus and stuff that's on it. Um, this thing looks like a troll, kind of. Troll in um, the den. Okay, it is kind of and, what I thought it was. But you've heard that there are some trolls who eat other trolls and basically like the other trolls regenerate out of their body. Um, it's also possible Arcturia just smashed a bunch of trolls together. One of the two. <laughs> why, 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 would, why would you do that? Yeah. So um, uh, what would you like to do to well, this this little friend here? Okay, well, I'm hoping he doesn't move very fast as I uh, see it panic slightly and call down a uh, sacred flame. Oh, sacred flame. Okay. He needs a dexterity saving throw, please. Dex save. Uh, 16. Son of a beep. Uh, that's <laughs> gonna that's gonna make it, and okay. because it's a cantrip, he takes no damage. Um, how far away from him am I? Mm, I would say 20 feet. 20 feet. Yeah. Okie dokie. Well, I call down my sacred flame. I see it burn around him and do nothing as he just sidesteps. Hmm. Oh mm. boy. I'm going to back up to stand next to Airly and point and go, big scary troll, big scary troll. I think he <laughs> ate the guys coming out of him. Not 100% sure. Big scary troll. Mm. Have you heard of the chimney witch? We should go visit her. <laughs> and I think that's my turn. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's my turn. So the troll, you know, comes out of the uh, out of the uh, the fungus here, having been awoken from its nap, um, and its heads are just like not joking off, uh, and other heads are just like not uh, joking as it uh, basically is just gonna stomp over to where all of you guys are, uh, and perhaps we could talk like, this out. Okay, I didn't think so. Uh, <laughs> one of its big arms, which has like another little arm coming out of it, it's just gonna come uh, and try and slap down at you guys. Which one? That's a good question. Who is it gonna slap? I would say not Solaris. Solaris. Oh, okay. I rolled Solaris. <laughs> I was I was gonna say not her, just because she went. She specifically did say she was hiding behind early. Mm. I will take the brunt of the hit. If... Okay. Do you have Sentinel? Sure. Early? No, no, not with early. Mm. Let's do it. Okay, so uh, I think this will be. I hate the idea that Solaris grabbed early. It was like, stand there. Yeah, <laughs> so it's gonna it's gonna bring down a big old uh, hand. So that's what did I roll to hit? Um, yes, I did. Okay, yes. Um, Would early be... give her any bonus to AC because of cover? I know she's technically not hiding behind her. She didn't get to technically hide. I'm taking the hit. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so that's going to be a 30 to hit. Uh, no, I... The, the, no? The, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, so this thing... Is, <laughs> ah, little gross claws come at you. Uh, and it's a deal. Four points of uh, eight, nine, ten, 14. fourteen slashing damage as it ah, with one of its claws. Oh, uh, wisdom um, save, motherfucker. Oh, mm. that's not good. <laughs> uh, I rebuke your violence. Nine? A nine, the DC uh, was 18, so it takes the same yeah. amount of damage in radiant. Okay, that doesn't like that. All right. So that is its first attack. And then it has uh, five more. <laughs> so there's four more claw attacks and then a bite. Hmm. Let's just roll. Does it do all of them at the same target? So it looks like two are going at Airly. One's going at Solaris. And then this one is a four, which would be Lilia, but I is not here, so I'm going to roll it. Oh, that's another one at Airly. You can say it's me. It's right. Okay, we can do that too. No. We can yeah. loop around. Okay. Um. So it can be like the Gandhi uh, glitch. Um. All right. So 
one of the claw attacks is going to go at patience. That is going to be a 24 to hit you. Yep. Okay. So one will hit patience for. I'm just going to double check damage. How much damage does it add on? Uh, six. Okay. Um, that would be 14 damage, slashing damage against you, patients. Okay. Oh, right. We rested. Correct. Yep. Uh, yeah. uh, I got a thing. I think I got a thing. Maybe it's next level. Um, I'm curious what the thing. Something we should have added at the beginning of the day kind of thing. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Ooh, so everybody... Should put down ten temporary hit points. Oh! As I have celestial resilience. Uh, whenever I finish a rest of any kind, up to five creatures with that I can see gain ten temporary hit points, and I gain sixteen. So I guess I am okay. down to two temporary hit points. Nice. Is Aya trying to get in? Uh, she probably is, as I'm not in the thing. Because, of course, mm -hmm. let me. All right, so. Yeah, yeah, she is. That bad boy does that. Um, so 10 temporary points, got it. Uh, 14 damage, patience. Uh, and then against Airly, it's going to be, a, what is it? Uh, 29 and a 23. Uh... Yeah, they both hit. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hey. Hey, I uh, Hi. Uh, to fill you in, um, we went into yeah. a fungus room. Uh, somebody yes. said they wanted revenge. Closed the door. And yeah. popping up yes. out from the fungus was a big troll thing. And it's got like a bunch of troll faces on it. And it gets five attacks and it's attacking all of us. Yeah, okay. So... The first attack is going to deal 16 slashing damage to you, Airly, and the second one is going to deal 8 slashing. Kind of embarrassing. Uh, and then the one that uh, tried to attack you, Solaris, with that last one, uh, I got an at 1. So, Yay! Are we doing the thing? Oh, sure, yeah. Okay, let me pull that but up. Because I never close it. Basically, what happens here? I got a 41. No, no, 14. 14. Um, I doubt this will do anything. Do they have any magic items on them? No, it then, does not. Then nothing extra happens. Okay, so here's what happens. It, it basically tries to swat down at you, Solaris, um, and one of these floating fungal balls basically get in the way of its, if its claw and just like psh, pops in a cloud of spores that just like... Argh! <laughs> as it sort of angrily looks around at all these floating spheres, these gas spheres. Um, and then it has to do its bite attack, which I guess I'll do against Lilia. Come at me, bro. Uh, oh, you, I mean, I'll roll again. Let's do it. I got Lilia. All right. <laughs> well, uh, okay. So that's going to be. Mm, Okay, it's plus eleven that too. Uh, twenty-seven against that your hits. AC, Lilia. Yeah. Yeah. No, that okay. hits. Okay, good. I am a little magic baby. What did you expect? <laughs> uh, so that's gonna be uh, thirteen piercing damage. Uh huh. And three oh. poison damage. Oh, before you do any of that, add ten. I have resistance to poison. <laughs> okay, okay. I, 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 uh, poison before you before you do any of that damage. Mm. I got to say this before you got to come back on here. My Celestial Warlock, every time I rest, I give friends temporary hit points. So you had okay. 10 temporary hit points. Yeah. Okay. So I take... Three damage, yeah? Four, because... After the temporary hit points go down? Because the stabbing was 13. Okay. And the... Um, poison was two? It was three, which would go down to one. Yeah. yeah. Because then, I'm, yeah. Then four damage. Four. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, Lilia, would you oh. also like to roll me initiative? 
Yeah, I would. Mm -hmm. I got okay, so yeah, this... 17. 17. Oh, you go right after me. Okay. All right, so in that case, uh, what would you like to do, Lilia? Because there is this countdown timer up in the corner going down from 10 minutes. Uh, you have been attacked by a troll in this fungal garden. Uh, and the, the voice basically said that the weapon of mass disintegration is going to activate in 10 minutes unless you uh, get to a safe zone or unless you get the mithril keys that will shut it back off. Does he like look do? like he has one of those? I don't know, maybe. Does he have mushrooms growing on him? Oh, yeah. Cool. I like his design. Mm -hmm. I yelled ah. to Lilia, can you locate that with that spell thing you can do if you just know what it's called? You're not familiar with the mithril keys? Though. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Me either. I was literally thinking the same thing, Solaris, but, you know. I wow, feisty. <laughs> Solar no, Solaris, Solaris Lilia, you go look for the keys. Early and I got this. Wait, what? I got this. You it... go look for the keys. <laughs> oh my fucking god! I cast common motions on this troll. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna cast calm emotions on the troll. Okay. Yeah, you said it was angry. I would calm down. Fee fi fo fum. Lilia is the best little idea. social butterfly ever. <laughs> I love it. Butterfly. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Um, Listen, I made Lilia specifically to make friends. Like, uh, as a warlock patron, her thing is the power of friendship. Like. <laughs> Some things can't be befriended, but, uh, okay. Well, it failed. It got a nat one plus two, which is a three. So it failed yeah. on save. Uh, so you can choose one of the two following effects. You can suppress an effect causing a target to be charmed or frightened. Alternatively, you can make a target indifferent about creatures of your choice that it is hostile towards. Difference ends if it is attacked or harmed by a spell or if it witnesses any of its friends being harmed. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, say that it's indifferent to us. Okay, so as long as you maintain concentration up to a minute, uh, it's going to be indifferent to you. Okay. All right, go find go find the thing. The the angry, fungus covered troll with all sorts of heads and arms, just kind of like, uh, it seems more bothered by the floating spheres right now than it does you guys. It's just like, mm -hmm. rah, rah, swatting <laughs> at them. Um, can I also like? Tucha fungi moda. I don't know if I, uh, you could say it's possible, but could I, like, try to roll an arcana to see, like, what these are? If I know what these are? The floating gas things? Yeah. Sure you can, yeah. Okay. I rolled really low. I got a 15. <laughs> 15's enough. Um, so I would say that you are aware that there is a type of fungus called a gas spore that usually grows from the body of a dead beholder. Um, and gas spores are more or less harmless if you stay away from them, but if you get close enough to them, mm -hmm. they will basically like swarm you and try to get you to pop them. And they basically unleash spores if you do. Okay. Yeah. So it's like da uh, dandelions, like very aggressive yeah. dandelions. Very aggressive dandelions, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you make if you make a wish on them, I hear it comes true. So. Oh, okay, right. Uh, I will relay that information, except for the make the make a wish come true, because somebody will fall for that. <laughs> Why do you relay the most important information of all? Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, got it. Uh, in that case, it is currently indifferent. Uh, patience. What would you like to do? Go look for the key. How long will that last? A minute, so make it quick, please. I'm not good at looking for things, and I go off to look for it. <laughs> Incredibly. Okay. Uh, is this like an investigation or? 
No, so here's what we're gonna do. So as you go off, it looks like there are, let's see here. There are two passageways that lead off from this cavern. Well, and the adventurer's guide, it says good adventurers go left. So I'll go left. Sure. All right, going left. Uh, so that would take you do, 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 do. into it looks like the, into the, the hallway ahead of you. Um, it looks like the hallway sort of like twists in front of you as if the floor was like became the ceiling and then back around to the floor. Um, and it looks like there are frescoes painted all on the walls in brilliant colors. It's almost mesmerizing drawing you down the corridor. Uh, okay, I close my eyes and fly down the corridor. Sure. I have okay. blind fight, so I won't hit the walls or anything. Okay. So as you go down the corridor, suddenly your blind sense ding, 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 goes off as the corridor begins to move and wriggle as it's an animated hallway. Cool. Uh, so I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw. What is this, Mario Kart? Luckily, yeah. luckily I don't have disadvantage. Uh, that is good. Uh, what, what, oh, that's a 15. A 15. Okay, uh, that is enough. Oh, wow. So you are able to fly as like the floor like pops up to try and hit you. Uh, and like these colors and it like whips back and forth trying to get you as you're flying down it, but you are able to dodge and weave and get your way far to the far end of the hallway. Uh, airily, you are in the chamber with the troll, the gas boars. Uh, it is currently calm emotion, like um, There's another corridor that patients did not go down. Uh, there's various beautiful funguses in this garden. Um, and the countdown timer is going down. What would you like to do? I'm going to run to the other corridor. The other corridor. patients didn't go down. Uh, yeah, but yeah. I turn back to Lily and I'm like, I'll be back before a minute. Just okay. keep them like that. And then okay. I, I run down that way. Okay. If anything happens, Yami will kick its ass. I have no doubt of it. <laughs> Okay, so... Camera pans over, and there's like a dotted line silhouette of where Yami should be. And it's like, ding, ding, ding. Beep, beep, beep. Yami! Uh, so... <laughs> yeah, Yami's pro Actually, Yami probably has run off to uh, try and find one of these keys. Wow. <laughs> Trying to find one of the keys. It's um, okay, so as you pass into this hallway, Airily, I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw. As suddenly a rune on the ground goes whew, teleported to life. This is the wrong thing to do. Callie, why did you do this? Uh, wisdom mm -hmm. 13. I need you to roll me a d10. That's how many limbs explode. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, seven, so... Oh, <laughs> nice. You have more than me, and I have wings. Okay. Where are the so. other limbs, Callie? <laughs> Airily. I'll never tell. She's Ariel. <laughs> She's Ariel. She has eight legs. Actually, Airily, Airily begins to grow three extra limbs. <gasps> three more legs? Back, which become wings, and then a tail out of your butt. Um, and then you also, you feel your arms and legs like uh, twisting into other shapes as hair starts to grow around your face um, as you are polymorphed into a manticore by the polymorph trap. Uh, and you are now, it says, uh, da, 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 all items worn or carried by the creature are absorbed into its new form. The new form is hostile towards all other creatures and must attack any other creature it can Again? see. Again? <laughs> <laughs> Every time. This is always Arlie. If this so, happened to me, like, I would have two nickels, but it's weird that it happened <laughs> twice. <laughs> so, yeah, you're a manticore now, so that's the thing. Um, you have either... That's so not basically hot. A manticore, 
A Mantor core can make three attacks, either one with its bite, two with its claws, or three with its tail spikes. All right, I'll look which up can basically fling. Question. Yes. None of us saw her turn into this, did we? Nope. No. <laughs> Shit. Okay, uh, bye. Her face would say the same, though, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. I, I would say that's that's accurate. Yeah. It's basically uh, just Airly's face with, like, Manticore body and everything. I'm making that's an intelligence fine. check, Dylan. Hmm. Because uh, this thing eats other things. Baby shapes. Mm. And so under, maybe, uh, obviously, maybe. in Airly oh, Manticore's fuck. mouth is just like this razor sharp, like multiple rows of teeth going back. Just. <sighs> mm. And you can still talk, actually. Manticores can talk, but you're hostile to everything you see. So that's a thing. Um, Solaris. Hi. Cast it would be it would be your turn after that. What would you like to do? All right. So what? I I was I was going to go down the right hallway, which I assume is the hallway that Airily went down. Shit. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not changing my mind. Okay. Solaris would not know, so I run in that direction. So I go forty feet, and then if I'm not in the hallway yet, I would dash and go forty more feet. Oh. You 100% would be. So you are okay. able to find, you know, this branching corridor off the fungal cavern. Um, and not even like 10 feet down it, uh, there is this flash of light. And suddenly there is a manticore there. And it it sort of like turns around and you see it as Airely's face as it glowers at you with hostile intent. All right. I all right. All right. Airly, are we... uh, ahead, okay. Okay. Hmm. Early, we need we need growling angry manticore and action. <laughs> Perfect. I'll no give more you takes. Inspiration for that. Yeah. <laughs> you can have inspiration, Early. That's wonderful. All right. You, you so... should use it on your attack rolls against Solaris. <laughs> I run into the corridor. Okay. Full speed. I've got my dagger for his shield on my left arm. I've got. My sword, Synthal Morn, in my right hand. Ooh. I see this thing turn around and see it with Aralee's face. I rolled an intelligence check for this. I s slide to a stop. Oh my god, it ate Aralee! <laughs> Sacred flame <laughs> on the Manticore. Our, I, need, I need a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> How many times oh, I've died? I've only died two nickels. That's weird that it happened twice. Uh, 16. Okay, the sacred flame does nothing. I'm like, ah! I'm gonna turn and use my bonus action to dash back <laughs> out of the hallway 40 feet. <laughs> I love it. It ain't right. early. It ain't early. So, Lilia, Solaris comes running back saying, It ain't early. What would you like to what do? What did What happened? I just point down the hallway. Don't go down there. It grew her face when it ate her. What? What is it? <laughs> I, I don't know. Describe. <laughs> Describe it. I don't think I need to. It's coming this way. Wow. <laughs> You can hear his bloodthirsty <laughs> cries into the night. <laughs> that strike horror into millions. That just wow. sounds like early before she had her coffee in the morning. <laughs> it's coming right for us. It's coming right for us. It ate her, and now it's gonna, gonna eat, eat us. Me. Oh my dear. If we die here, we die for real life. Oh. Chaos Lily, crew, what everybody. would you like to do? Well, it's fuck, coming. I don't know. <laughs> does does calm emotions require you to constantly keep eye contact with the, your target? Or uh, no, stay a, within range? Or? A, um, um, I'm looking, hon. It ends if the target is attacked or harmed by a spell. When the spell ends, the creature becomes hostile again. Unless the DM rules otherwise. Uh, I don't think it does, actually. I don't think you have to stay in range. Oh, then perfect. There you go. Yeah. As long as you're concentrating, it'll it will remain calmed. I was about to say if it, if it what if you did have to kind of make it moot and point because the main reason you'd want to do it is to get out of a hostile situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Unless it is is attacked or harmed by spell, or if it witnesses any of its friends being harmed. 
So. Okay. Um. Geez, that also do it. Crazy. It doesn't have okay. any friends except for the faces. It doesn't on have its any body. friends. Except it's yeah itself. Yeah. That'd be the worst game of poker ever. They could all see your hand. That's why you play solitaire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Jesus. Oh, I okay. got two jokers. Wow. Well. Yeah, because they were on the top last time. <gasps> okay. Yeah, well. Okay, I'm sorry. On the bottom this is meta. Though. She attacks anything. She's hostile to everything she sees, right? Why don't you lead her to the troll? Yep. I mean, I think I may have done that inadvertently, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then you two could, like, hide in the mushrooms or something. Mm. I was going to hide, but I had to use my bonus action to dash away. Dylan, how far is Arlie? Like... She would be down in the hallway, like I said, about 10 feet down wait, the hallway. Wait, you didn't... Probably be in... Can you hide as a bonus action? I used my bonus action to dash. Okay. Um, what did you use your action for? So... To cast uh, Sacred Flame. Sacred Flame. Oh, right, yeah. right. Sorry. I just, I need, I need, so, I need eyes on Arlie. Can I get there and get eyes on her? Yes. As far yeah. as you know, you can't because this thing swallowed her. Man. You can see a manticore yes. that looks like Arlie, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm like dashing that way. Like, my friend is in trouble. It's like, shit, I gotta go, like, either get her out of his whatever stomach or like. Lilia, really, no, it swallowed Arlie whole. It'll eat okay. you in one little nibble. It's fine. <laughs> But reasonably, do you think that something airily would let something eat her <laughs> <laughs> in one bite? Yeah. This thing, I mean, I, don't I think she can shame. Let her live her life. Ew. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god. <laughs> Ew. Well, we know it wasn't Batman. That much is obvious. Oh. <laughs> Alright, Lily, what are you doing? I am going towards He's Definitely where, not a vegetarian. Where, where, That's been coming. Where, where this monster is. I'm going yes. to try uh, you know. I'm trying to get eyes on it because yep. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I wanna know what it is. You can uh, see it. Yeah. Can I make a <laughs> intelligence check? Yeah. Why are we can all? I give her my inspiration? No, sure it's fine. No. I'm, I, don't don't use it. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like straight intelligence. Yeah. Uh, no gay intelligence. Uh, what? Gay intelligence. He said. I. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. What did he say? Sorry. Gay intelligence. Oh, uh, gay intelligence. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I was like, I should probably not talk because Dylan actually was saying what you're supposed to do, right? As I said that. I was gonna say. I was gonna say Arcana would probably do it. Okay. Um. Then in that case, it is a twenty-nine. Okay. Twenty-nine. Yeah. Uh. So you would recognize that this is a creature called a manticore. Uh. Yeah. They are man-eating creatures with the faces of of humanoids. Um, I ate. You haven't heard of one that assumes the face of someone it eats, but they do. They're intelligent. They can talk, and they usually try and like lure people in. And you have heard stories of of that there are supposedly manticores with the faces of every humanoid to exist in the world, mm. basically somewhere out there. Okay. Very convenient if it's been Airly's Air manticore. But he's got a twin out there somewhere. Yeah. Very <laughs> convenient. Very very convenient. Mm -hmm. what? Yeah. What are the odds? Um, so its <laughs> its face looks like Aerialise when she hasn't had coffee in the morning. Got it. Mm. <laughs> um. <sighs> if only you had someone mind. there that could cast comedy See, if emotions. If I knew she was polymorph, I could figure it out. But I'm gonna just uh, uh, I can fix this no problem. But she isn't, so I'm not gonna do it like that. Um. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to. try Yes. Eldritch, it, uh, Eldritch Blast? No, I was going to banish her. Oh, you could do that. Yeah. <laughs> sure, what did she got to roll? Uh, let's see. 
Charisma. Uh, must make a charisma saving throw. Well, I would say you probably have the Manticore's stats, right? So you have a minus yeah, one do. to charisma. Uh oh. Nineteen. I got a natural twenty. Oh my god. Oh! Wow. That Manticore ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah. I ain't like, going nowhere. <laughs> it, listen, if she got one lower, I would have gone. Uh, I have, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. I am no longer the Aerocor. I am, er, I'm no longer early. I'm the Aerocor. Alright. I'll be like, well, shit. And, uh, hmm. I'll be like, well, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it talks. It talks. I'm sorry, do you know do, where Early is? Dylan, do I know these people and do I know my name? <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say so, sure. Yeah, you're just hostile really to them. Mad at them. You're just hostile and have turned into a manticore, yeah. You're just really pissed about something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm just going to take on a persona because I already went with it. Yeah. Uh, right. Oh, Lilia, don't you recognize me? Yes. But it's this... weird. <laughs> like I've seen your like yeah, you're my friend. Like what did you do with Arlie? I am Arlie. <laughs> okay. Why are you trying to kill us? Okay. So Lilia says okay. And okay. we cut over to patience. <laughs> So patience, you have flown down this hallway uh, and and survived survived the animated hallway. Did I reach um, the other end? On the, you do reach the other end. Um, I'm so glad patience. <laughs> on the <laughs> on the far side. Um, this is like fine freaking superhero bullshit. Where like I'm I'm Lois Lane and she's Clark Kent, and it's like only the crazy shit happens when I'm not there. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you know. Um, so you find what looks like a domed chamber that looks like it's pretty much empty, except there is a boot laying on the floor. No sign of anything <laughs> mithril or key like. <laughs> no, not not in this chamber. It looks like there is two other pathways that branch off from this one. Uh, but the only thing really in here uh, looks like it's that boot sitting there. Okay, well, it's not a key. We're in a hurry, so I... There could be a key in there. Is it, like, standing upright, or is it lopsided? Oh, yeah, it's standing upright with the uh, the, the, the shaft, shaft. facing <laughs> up, yeah. Yeah, we as we've learned in other games, that, that is an actual term for a shoe, is the shaft. shaft. Yes. There is. We were joking about it, and I looked it up. That's actually what it's called. Uh, yeah, why not? I'll peer inside as I'm flying by. Mm, all right, so you fly, and it looks like there is a snake curled up in the boot. Oh. And it sort of, it little, sort of looks up at you. In your boot. It opens its eyes and looks up at you, and it just sort of like... Oh, I'll leave you alone, my fellow fella. And I head off to the right one this time. Okay. So you fly down, and eventually, let me see, let's go see what's going to You find a towering statue of Halister Black Cloak, carved from granite. It's thrusting its stone staff outward in a threatening manner. Its visage sculpted with a look of wild abandon, uh, but not the campaign I ran uh, <laughs> called Wild Abandon. Um, it has a a deep V neck that shows most of its sculpted chest oh my god and the robe is engraved with hundreds of lidless eyes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah um but that is what you find here yeah I, I guess i dashed and that's my turn okay uh so early uh, this is like the smallest game that we've had in like months the amount of people here, and so the combat is so much faster than usual. <laughs> uh, you know, it's true. Um, so, Airily, you are a manticore. Uh, Lilia is in front of you. She just, Solaris is behind him she, with this fungal garden. She just tried uh, to banish you. How dare she? Tried she tried to banish you, that's true. 
I know that. Yeah, uh, I'd say so. She tried to cast a spell on you. Use the force I... of your will to remain here, so. Oh, so you've seen her cast banishment before, so I imagine you probably know what it looks like. That's fair, too. It's not like you lost your memories. Or anything. I got I got my own yeah. ferocious, ferocious manticore to deal with right here. That's true. Lilia, look what you've let me become. <laughs> I didn't do this. You let me go down that hallway by myself, and this is what I've become now. You gonna you gonna attack her? Do you not care for your friends? And then I'll swipe out with my Ooh. claw. Okay, so you have three attacks. You have, uh, I think, one with your bite, right? Wait, well, yeah, one with your bite, two with your claws. What would you like yeah. to do? I don't know. Or three with its tail spikes. Or with its tail spikes, true. Sure. Which That's... you could you could sort of take off into the air and like plush, you know, throw those at them. Can I That's just not attack. do anything? I don't want You can attack <laughs> but... me. Don't attack Lily. But... You can you can attack Solaris. But you're I am Grandpa fine. Here. Listen, I will survive. You're hostile to everything yeah. you see. You're as not... long as I know how to love, I know I'm still alive. You're, you're not in control of yourself. So True. Sure. Um, this is drama for later. Yeah. yeah. Does uh, does uh, eleven? No. Hit? Okay. No. Cool. Um, I may be a baby mage, but at least I have some armor. <laughs> no. Uh, I'll do a bite. Ah. Dirty twenty. Does that mm -hmm. hit? Yeah, that hits. At least it wasn't a nat twenty. Okay. It's a D8 um, plus three. Especially since you have a Vorpal Sword again. Oh, wait, no. It's absorbed into you. Never mind. Eight yeah. damage. <laughs> so, airily, the Manticore comes over and opens her jaws and rows of teeth, and she <laughs> bites into you, Air uh, Lilia. Oh, it Rips your clothing as a uh, <gasps> back. Scandalous. Mm -hmm. The last claw attack. Oh, People thank God. Call. Okay. Uh, I thought that was a 19. <laughs> um, yeah, that hit. No, no, it's not a 19. It's a, it's an 18. Does an 18 hit? Yeah, that still hits. Okay. Baby wizard. I have AC of 16. Oh. Wait, what? Yeah. Seriously? Because I have, because I have the armor of woe. Armor of woe. You have better armor than I do. Dang. <laughs> Uh, seven piercing. Oh, wait. Yeah. That's a problem. Seven. I feel like that's a problem. <laughs> okay, so. Seven slashing damage. Okay, excellent. Um, so, uh, Lilia, since you have taken yeah. damage, I need you to make me a concentration check. Right, okay. Do you have four caster? That's a good question. The feet four okay. caster. It's an, it's an at one. Oh, well. Oh, my God. All right, that calm emotions. Solaris is in the room with it. It sure is. Cool. And I'm a freaking manticore. Uh-huh, oh, yeah. yeah. And the countdown timer is continuing to go down. Um, all right, so I believe we are now on... Okay, it hasn't even been a minute yet. Just, you know, so you guys know. Yeah, it's, it's literally we, got less eight, than a we got eight more rounds. Or wait, um, no, it doesn't matter. It's right. ten minutes, yeah, yeah. so it's, it's going to be a while. Um, but uh, Solaris, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, manticore Airly has attacked Lilia. And the spell has broken over the troll, who is suddenly like looking around, like <laughs> very angry again. Oh crap! Oh no! Um, this what do I want to do? Is a good question. Kill me! Kill me, please! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no, this isn't Miss Crin's Valley. We don't need more of that yeah, sound. Calm down! <laughs> Jeez! Easy there, early. It's not like we've been through, like, haven't been through worse. Okay, like, literally on, hell Dylan. and high water. Yeah. Dylan, yeah. is this polymorph or like, or like true polymorph? So <laughs> it, technically, this would be true polymorph, wouldn't it? So basically, here's how the 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 trap is worded. Um, it is called a polymorph trap. Uh, and basically, if you fail the the well, I'm sorry, you don't. Even, yeah, if you fail the wisdom saving throw, you're transformed into a monster with average hit points. Um, and you roll to see what kind of creature you turn into. Yeah. Um, so it's not really either spell. It's just kind of a effect. 
Okay. Yeah, essentially. So essentially, it, it uses... we don't know how long it will last if it's permanent or not. Yeah. So uh, I, if the reason I said kill me is because like when you hit when you knock somebody down with that's polymorphed to mm. to zero, they don't po- they're not polymorphed anymore. That may work. Yeah. It may work. But, it is but you so- said it sounds so dramatic. <laughs> that is. I'm a dramatic person. <laughs> that, that right there, Callie, is what uh, they called in the old days player mastery of the D&D rule set. Oh, <laughs> yay, it's been three years. I finally figured it out. <laughs> How's it feel? Uh, You've got your, ma- yeah. you, you, du- you graduated from Dungeon Academy and now you got your PhD. I, How do you, I, how's it feel? I can't believe it. I- <laughs> Dang, you went from academy to PhD in three years. That's, that's impressive. Know. Very impressive. I, I wish she is a prodigy. After all. <laughs> <laughs> you shaved off like six years from that. Holy cow. Yeah. Uh, Listen, we were in the advanced program. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I showed up really late. I was an exchange student and they just let me skip a bunch of stuff. <laughs> hey. Oh my gosh. All right, okay. Solaris. I see that this troll weird creature thingy is starting to get angry again. Uh, I turn around and I go, well, uh, I guess you got to find me. I cast darkness on it. So it's Ooh. centered It's centered on it and it's 15 foot radius around it. Oh, so, so this right around it, 30 feet, wherever it goes, it's bubble of darkness is going to go with it. Are those, um, blo- uh, are those blowy mushrooms like can they would not penetrate? they would not dispel magical, magical darkness, darkness no. baby not at all and all right, and the thing is, right. is this isn't regular darkness this is advanced darkness well and the and the thing is too like like i i say it and like solaris is surprised when the darkness spreads out because she's never done this this yeah. is new and it's like uh uh okay um I'm going to use my 40 feet of movement to move away from it, like kind of okay. to the edge of the opening where Lilia went to see Arlie, but okay. I kind of stand off to the side and like duck down <laughs> in a big patch of fungus. I'm going to use my bonus action to hide this turn because I don't have another attack right now. All right. All right. So I will roll a stealth check. This is a terrible tea party. <laughs> really terrible tea party all right so stealth is gonna be that, that, that's the name of this episode yes 32 30 yeah okay yeah i become one with the fungus merge into the fungus and as i as long as i can concentrate the darkness can last up to 10 minutes so <laughs> that is impressive i try uh that's my turn okay uh so let me see here uh, Lilia, it would be your turn, but first, uh, roll me a d10, Solaris, oh. as you huddle down here in the mushroom. Oh, God, why? Remember, I have a, a mouth covering. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, seven. So, oh, I dropped the dice. Seven. Okay. Uh, there is a mushroom. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, there is a mushroom that you see right next to you um, that looks like it is green with basically like on its cap what look like little lips. And you feel as if it is giving off a, a magical aura of some No, kind. I don't want to kiss it! <laughs> <laughs> but who knows? Oh my, oh my. <laughs> I'm married! I have a ring! They put a ring on it! Who knows what magical powers it may bestow. Actually, are you proficient with medicine, nature, or survival? Better powers than Batman. Mm. I am proficient in none of those. (laughs) None of those. Okay, so you don't know what this thing is. Okay. Of course not. (laughs) Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, Lilia. Yeah. It's your turn then. What would you like to do? Uh, Well, first, I would like to cry as a reaction. with Airly the Manticore. I'm like. And that's fair. I yeah, want. I didn't want you to hurt. I'm just. I'm. I'm trying to help. It's too I'm late sorry. for that. A little too late. I'm so sorry. Um. What do I do? What do I do? Oh yeah, you have Thagor with you. Yeah. Yeah. 
Where the fuck are <laughs> Fakur and Yami? <laughs> He's just with you. What, what do you want him to do? I mean, <sighs> it's your responsibility to remember him, not mine. <laughs> Shoot. Is it? <laughs> yeah. He's your fucking NPC. Um. Hmm. Bodyguard. I'm trying. Probably not happy with Aerie. Probably not. I uh, I'm like trying to think like mm-hmm. I I like I'm 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 trying to wrap around my head like yeah. am I like assuming that Arlie was eaten by her like You can assume just, whatever you can assume whatever you want. A clone of her? I don't like What does Lilia think? I don't know. And she is she saying that she's Arlie. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. What does Lily think? Question. You do know Arcturia is a master of transmutation. I mean. Well. I'm going to try and. um, You know what? I'll I'll do what. Yeah. (laughs) Or, uh, like, what uh, Callie suggested. I feel mm-hmm. like, you know. Yeah. So right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell Fagor to um, hit her. Hard as he can. Knock her out. Do you want Fagor oh, yeah. to use his chilling gaze and claw attacks, or to use his cold breath? Is there a difference? Yes, he can either use his cold breath or his chilling gaze and two claw attacks, so. Yeah, do uh, chilling gaze. Sure. All right, that's what we're doing. And the claw attacks. Okay. And then what I'm are you doing? Go- I'm going to. Um... <laughs> I'm going to. Um... I'm, I'm, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll just do arms of a dar on her. Okay. Oh no, it's a strength. You know what? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna try and like hold her down. Okay. So... Kind of save it though, Uh, strength. The big fluffy. Well, actually, what do they look like now? I don't know. They look the same, or? I imagine that like. They look a little bit like, um, <laughs> like ice, like, I, like ice, um, you know, how frozen ice goes over a glass. It just kind of looks like that, but mm. standing upright, mm. just kind of like, and grew, yeah. Okay. Cool beans. Strength saving throw. The arms. The arms of Vistus. Twelve. Twelve. No. Yes. Uh. Yeah, and you can't take a reaction until your next turn. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Oh, is uh, it damage too? <laughs> yeah. Oh. And you take uh. Six points of damage. Six. Okay. Okay. Bagor is going to not listen to you, Lily, and he's going to use his cold breath instead. Cuts better. Uh, <laughs> well, then why did you ask? <laughs> curious. Um, but uh, yeah, Bagor is, since early the Manticore is being held, is basically going to come over and just <sighs> cold breath all over. So I need you to make me a constitution saving throw already. <laughs> oh, I rolled a one, so a four. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. All right, well that's a fail. Uh, so let me pull out. I don't even have this many dice. Uh, let's see. Uh, so let's not be okay. Uh, Aya, do you want to roll me? 
Uh, 68. Do you have, do you have 68? I do. All right, go for it. I rolled four of them. Oh, D8? Okay, hold D8s, on. D8s, yeah. Got, yeah, oh, hold on. Thought you were saying the other way. Oh, no. No, I have, I have that. Yeah. Okay. Four. Five. Six. Okay. Six. Okay, great. That's what I, mm -hmm. <laughs> what I needed. Great. Do it. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much damage are you looking at? The dire trolls released mm -hmm. from Calm Motion in the back. Damage. Oh, okay. And Thagor comes up as Air, uh, Lilia's arms hold Airly the Manticore down. Uh, preventing Is you that from the flying. best you could do? <laughs> be 41 cold damage. In all? Or In all. Plus a tw okay. Yeah. Is that the best you can do? Is that the, the, the best you could do? Uh, so, uh... Okay. Uh, so that would be... Uh, Lilia's turn. Hang on. Uh, and then it's my turn, isn't it? We have an I'm, angry troll. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have an angry troll on our hands. Um, That's it. Surrounded by darkness. It is. I think it's just going to, like... Ah! Like, it's going to do its whirlwind of claws ability, which no one is within 10 feet of it. However, there are a bunch of these gas fours around it. Uh, so basically, it's just going to ah! a bunch of these gas fours, which begin bouncing around the room, <laughs> knocking into each other like pool balls and going all over the place. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to roll to see where they end up. Uh, actually, I'll roll to see how many are involved in this. Oh, okay. Well, two. Not a lot at all. All right. Okay. And then... Okay. So one is going to go at Airly. One is going to go at Lilia. Somehow, uh, Solaris, you're like tucked in under the mushrooms, so this these balls bouncing around aren't going to bother you. What? That's um, why I'm here. So one of the gas spores comes <laughs> flying towards you, Airly, uh, and I need you to make me a constitution saving throw as suddenly it just rams into you and explodes. <laughs> uh, seven. Seven, that's a failure. Uh, okay, well, you're going to take uh, uh, eight poison damage. And you are infected with a disease. Oh my god! Unless you're immune to the poison condition. Uh, That's always a possibility. As a as a manticore immune to poison? Wait, 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 wait. It doesn't say. Oh, well, <laughs> then, uh, let's get right, check. As soon as we figure this early situation out, I have a plan. Mm. Fucking hell. So yeah, you take oh. eight poison damage. Okay. And and spores begin to invade your system. Um, okay, so that's happening. I need you to roll me a d12. Me? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, where's my d12? Oh, it's here. All right. Seven. Seven. What's your constitution score, Airly's? Airly's constitution. constitution score. Uh, it's a sixteen. Sixteen. What's your modifier? A plus three. Plus three. Okay, so it's it's actual score. Got it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and then the other gas four comes <laughs> hurling towards you, Lilia. So I need you to make me a constitution saving throw as it also explodes. <laughs> Cloud of spores. Six. 
That's a failure too. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry. So you're resistant to poison damage, right? Yeah. I believe you said. Okay. So yeah. that will be for you. Uh, four poison damage. Already have. Okay. And you are also infected with this disease as spores suck them right up. Uh, and I want you. Anything. I I would like you to roll me a d12 as well. Okay. And tell me your constitution score. Eleven. Eleven. And, uh, fifteen. I got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. So I believe that is everything that I need to do because this troll can't see without the with the darkness. So it's just <laughs> whacking away these gas spores as it runs into them. Um, patience. So, patience, you are in that room with the Halster statue. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, it's sort of holding a staff out threateningly, has a deep V neck, glowering face, lidless eyes all over its robe. What would you like to do? No keys on a statue. You don't see any, not uh, out in the open anyway. Okay, let's see here. Um, all right, I fly to the other direction. This is still no. right. Flying away from the Halster statue, uh, you fly back past the snake in the boot mm -hmm. to what looks like basically a... Hey, what's up? I name him Chris, yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, basically what looks like a, a curtain across the hallway. Oh, I have no experience with this out of character at all. No, curtains are totally fine in D and D. No. Yeah, it's like in Zelda; they do nothing. Would I, would I be able to just fly right through it during my dash, or no? Yeah, if you want. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why would I stop? Okay. So you fly into the curtain. I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, yeah, that's a failure. Okay. Teleported. So, <laughs> no, so you fly into the curtain, and it basically, like, the curtain just, like, comes with you and, like, closes behind you. So you're, like, in a bag now as it falls to the floor, and it begins to smother you Aww. as you are grappled. Uh, so let me see. You're going to take... Uh, 13 bludgeoning damage. Okay. And one acid damage. Okay. And it says, while you are grappled in this way, you are restrained, blinded, and at risk of suffocating. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Um, as a bonus action... Yeah, as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Sanctuary on myself. Okay. So now, if it tries, it continues to attack me, it's got to do the Wisdom save stuff. Uh, okay, so... Um, that would take us to Airly, your turn. You are a Manticore. You have been diseased by this gas spore. You're held by the hands of Hadar. And... Um, yeah, Thagor just cold breathed you. What would you like to do? All she I wanted was a break. <laughs> Did um, she grapple the lawyer? Yeah. Uh, no. no. No? Okay. You can move. I can okay. move. Yeah. I thought it was. I thought you said I was restrained until. You uh, you can't uh, use your reactions for that. Oh. Uh, oh. All right. It's not it's bad a, at all. It's a first level spell. <laughs> okay. Uh. -uh. Oh, all right, I'm going to attack the Yeti. <gasps> Tag off! No. Okay. I'm going to use um, my You'll stand three... in front of Lilia. I'm going to use my three tail spikes. So. Okay, a spray of tail spikes. Uh, uh, 15. That'll hit. Oh, um, 
12. No, that doesn't. And 10. No, okay. So one of the tail spikes, one of the sprays just hits Thagor and he looks down at it. Uh, five damage. Ah, it is nothing. (laughs) He rips it out and he throws it onto the ground. He's angry. He'll protect Lilia with his life. Um, okay. Uh, so Solaris, we find you huddled. Uh, the troll is going wild, volleyballing gas spores around the room as it's shrouded by darkness. Big bubble of darkness. <laughs> the manticore airily is very hurt down in the hallway, you can see. Uh, Thagor is sort of standing there, and gas spores just flew down the hallway and burst around them. So what would you like to do? And there's this magic mushroom next to you with the lips. That's right. What would you like to do? <laughs> Side eye of the mushroom. Side of the mushroom again. Look down the hallway at the manticore. Look over my shoulder at the big giant bubble of darkness. Um, I am going to... There's the other hallway patients with them too, I guess. Do I hear anything from that hallway? No. No, I have, you a, I have a yeah. I have a very lo- very good perception. I think you probably I'm currently being heard, smothered, like, so no. Yeah, you probably would have heard you're, like. You're smothered, you can hear... Well, the, she's he's far yeah, away. Yeah, but that's like a few hundred feet you away. Heard, <laughs> you, you probably would have heard like there, so. pinball noises a couple minutes ago, nine minutes, like seconds ago, like ding 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 ding, ding like things knocking off the walls. Hey, and that's stuff, a problem but... to worry about for after this, I suppose. The quasi elemental yeah, plane of future, balls. Really. Um, I am going to I am going to try a am I within 60 feet of the manticore? Yeah, oh, 100%. Alright, so I just kind of poke my head out from my hiding place, get an eyeballs on the manticore that I think ate airily, and I'm going to sacred flame. So I need a dexterity saving throw from the manticore. Sorry to that. I'm what? sorry. Uh, what? 22. Oh. I say, huh, you know, my magic's being really strange down here. I don't understand. Uh, I uh, duck back down next to Flaming Lips over here next to me, and I'm going to hide again. <laughs> All right, Lilia. Oh, like that's, Ooh. that's uh, 34, I think, to hide. Oh, yeah, you're fine. That's a natural Lilia. 20. Oh, damn. Well. I am one with the spores. You, you slip and you're fall, muted, I... and you're in a shadow. I know, my mouse was being weird, so oh. I couldn't press the button. Ah. <laughs> Feeling about that. Um, okay. Hmm. I'm going to cast Bestow Curse upon Arlie. Okay. And I'm going I just to... use this uh, spell. And Jeanette's last yeah. session. Dude, just hit me with I the stick, it anyway. honestly. I probably would get it. <laughs> and I'm going to make her uh is a specific one. Um mm-hmm. uh, Okay. Um, what do you want the curse to do? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just, I, well, I mean, I, I guess she has to fail the saving throw first. Yeah. But. I totally thought it was something different, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm going to do. Um, I get the. I I wanted to uh, make her uh, um, mm-hmm. be um, vulnerable to ice magic, but I don't. That doesn't have that. No. So. Well, I mean. To be fair, it does say that you can choose a curse effect and the DM will allow you to do it depending on what you say. Is that what you want to do? I mean, Yeah, I want okay. her to be vulnerable to, to ice. Ice, okay, cold damage, all right. Yeah. Uh, what's the saving throw she has to make? Uh, uh, you need a wisdom saving throw. Ooh, that might work. Fifteen. No. Okay. And then so, Thagor is going to hit her with his ice stuff. 
I was going to say, the curse of Frigidius, the Ice Devil, falls upon you airily. And then Thagor is going to take, oh, damn, Thagor's going to take a swipe. That's a 19 on the die, plus whatever the fuck he has. Uh, 11, yeah, plus 11. So that's a 30 to hit. <laughs> Good lord. What is it? Uh, eight, eight, uh, let, me, let me 2d6, uh, Lilia. Okay. That's what you need. All right. Uh, that's a seven. Okay. So Thagor deals 10 bludgeoning damage and then 14 cold damage you because you are cursed. I had six hit points left. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but this is way cooler. So Thagor's cooler? fist. Cooler? Uh smacks airily and the manticore shatters into like it's an ice sculpture just being dropped on the ground uh and inside is airily and she's fine and you've oh, been restored yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's like ghostbusters I'm so scared. it is like ghostbusters <laughs> yeah. yeah and airily you are at the same amount of hit points that you were before you got polymorphed um also uh, what happened uh i can explain um <laughs> <laughs> Got a little well, tricycle to lollipop. Um, you, you said some things that were kind of hurtful, but it's fine. We're... I'm sorry. It's fine. I know they're true. Oh, they're not true. I just said some bad stuff because I, I got a baby. You got me up in these situations. And you I died know. last time. And it's weird that it's happened twice. <laughs> And ice magic saved you twice! Ah! The, power, the power of honor is great indeed. <laughs> Solaris looks at the lip mushroom and is like, I don't understand either. I have a plan, <laughs> you guys! We need to find patience in the army. The name's Shroomaplier, huh? Shroomaplier. Technically, Lilia, when you look around, you need to find Solaris, too. That's right. true, Solaris is gone. Solaris! Is the troll leader? Okay, I missed it, uh -oh. but what happened to the troll? It is. He's, a, he's in a bubble of darkness. Yeah. He's oh. been shrouded in a bubble of darkness, and he's basically, like, whacking wildly and knocking these gas spores around like a uh, pin, like, you know, like a uh, billiard he's ball. A just ball bing, 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 bing. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I, and it is still, like, ah! behind as you turn around and you don't see patience you don't see yami and you don't see solaris but you uh, retrieved do we, do, airily do we have communications with patients like sto like stone what do you think we are smart i don't think so i mean um, i know yami has one this is true but that's yami um yeah i i will tell yami hey come back i have a plan 10 for good butter <laughs> uh over. and i think oh yeah over sorry <laughs> i love you over i love you too over <laughs> um shooting star over <laughs> um where's so. patience <laughs> <laughs> like patience where are you i will i will cast uh um um oh yeah. Find object on his whatever. Rude. Okay. Am I just an object to you? Yes. Yeah, come on. Uh, all right, so you feel it drawing you in the down the hallway, past the troll, past the fungus forest, and past whatever else lies beyond. Yeah. Uh, however. Well, we'll do it think, next time. I'm sorry. I think that's where we should call it uh, no. for now. No. It's, it's a good direction to uh, to, to head Can it next I at time. least have my turn? <laughs> No! I'm gonna, I actually get to go before you. I know, I'm gonna forget what I was gonna do. <laughs> write it down, write, write it down, write it down. Write it down, yeah. I have a million yeah. post-it notes. Yeah. One says go into the other room, turn into a spider. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> That's the greatest! I love it! Ah, uh, alright. That's interesting. I have one that says, uh, Silver Mist, the Black Horse. So yes! <laughs> And, right, one, so and there was horse. one that was said uh, confirmation in season one or something like that. 
I threw that one away because I know what that one's about. See, I know it. I know what Silver Mist to Black Horse is about too. It's yeah. about your Candlekeep game. Yeah. All right. Um, All right. I need to write down what I was going to do. Yes. Good ideas. Good ideas. So uh, I hope, I'm glad, you know, everybody joined us this time. I hope you'll join us next time for more Arcturia Doom. This was an unexpected turn in the adventure, but you know, it always it is. Happens. Countdown to disintegration. Go. Yes. As the countdown continues, it's like at nine minutes thirty seconds. Don't worry, it'll be fine. This has all happened in thirty seconds. Dun 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 dun. So, let's go around and let's do some quick little plugs. Uh, Jeanette, what do you what do you you got going on? Well, this week's a quiet week. I don't have much going on this week, but you can usually find me on my channel, Uncanny Underscore Adventures. Uh, We play D and D five E Skull and Shackles, and we sometimes play call of cthulhu shadows of the still water but it's a weeknight game so sometimes it's tough to uh get everyone together but uh hopefully um a week from tuesday we'll be back with that at 7 p.m so that should be the 29th of june hopefully uh and then we should be back for skull and shackles on the 27th uh at 4 30 p.m eastern time also uh for those watching now um today right now the Into the Motherlands RPG uh, Kickstarter ends in a, like 10 hours, maybe 9 hours from now. So if you're watching right now, if you watch this later, you won't get to kickstart it. But right now... Watch it on June 20th or it. past it. Be late. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I kickstarted it today. So, nice. But that's, that's pretty much it. What I mean. is it about? What is this? Um, campaign setting, right? It's a new campaign setting. For 5e. For 5e. Well, yeah. although campaign settings, I mean, you can basically yeah, anything. wiggle room, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, and it's it's like all black creators, right? Yes, all black creators. Um, a, so African it's a, mythology. Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, on a distant world. Uh, and it's got all new content, uh, classes. I mean, go check out the Kickstarter for sure. Mm-hmm. It's It looks really, really awesome. And I'm excited to, to get it. Okay. So, so yeah. I just wanted to know so people would be like, oh, I don't know what that's about. Go check it out. Yeah. Go <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, uh, Aya. Oh, actually, sorry. Uh, first, I just want to say Skull and Shackles last session was amazing, and you should go watch the the vod on Jeanette's. Uh, I Twitch. heard there was a lot of oh. natural twenties in that session. There sure was. We played a game called Nine Pins, and it was a ride. Uh, <laughs> And then other things happened, but I'll leave I'll leave that a secret for you to go watch. I was um, emotionally invested in your nine pin game. <laughs> wonderful. Uh, so Aya, yeah, what do you have going on? What do you got going on? Hey everybody, my name is Aya Golander. I do arts and I DM stuff and yada yada. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can find me on Aya Golander on Twitter, and I have commissions right now. I have a sale going on, so if you want a little pride character or like just want a character like whatever i uh, i'll do that for you uh because i want to draw i want to draw some cute gays and also just just make everybody's life a little bit gayer in general <laughs> so go there i oh you can also check out the other art i already have on there it's really freaking cute all the characters are don't want to my own horn but they're really cute so you can go over there and check it out um yep. and on thursdays i have saffron academy mm-hmm. um there's confrontation with somebody's girlfriend because she's a vampire and they're that like, is not oh. why that is not and... why <laughs> the fact she's uh, probably a uh, art thief and nah, whatever else, probably much more. Nah. <laughs> oh, okay. It's only because she's a vampire. We know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you're trying to make us vampire racist. Uh, yeah. All right. You guys are. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Uh, Callie, <laughs> what do you got going on? Hello, you can find me at Cap Kelly on Twitter. I do art and uh, commissions open. I'm got school going on, so it'll probably be a while. I, you know, uh, but 
uh, I'm also working on my writing commissions that I've got. And then after I finish that, maybe I'll open them up again. Um, and then uh, Tuesday is unwritten. Uh, yay! yay. Uh, after a few week break, uh, we come back to the group being on a ship uh, that is um, captained by Vex's character, uh, who is a cat pirate lady uh, and um it uh she's a rare kind of cat that likes water yeah uh everybody you know it, it it's a it's gonna be a time so come check it out that's uh that's tuesday at eight o'clock on this channel yay yeah. and that's it for me the last episode of that was also very fun so you can watch that um and Scott, I almost cried. Uh, yeah, that's that's fair. And, and Scott, what do you got going on? Well, um, later on this channel over on, on Twitch, uh, we got Mysteries of the Silver Fleet, our Dark Matter campaign. Um, mm -hmm. We're checking out some like weird static going on. We're trying to get a, a satellite working so that way the verse has interstellar communications again. Um, we'll see what the heck that's that is uh, tonight at seven. Hmm. And uh, like a few other people here, I also do commissions, um, but I'm a little bit behind. So if you ha have any drawing commissions for me, uh, be patient. Mm -hmm. okay. Just like you are. Ha. Ha ha. All right. Uh, well, like, like I said, uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. I hope you'll join us next time. But until then... Keep being heroes. <gasps> yes!